guys welcome back to another vlog today is sunday so as you guys can see um i didn't get much vlog footage this week i promise you it is definitely for a understandable reason at least i hope to most of you guys typically you guys don't really i mean yeah you guys usually don't i'm not really to a point where it's like if i'm not posting on youtube tons of you guys are really like pressed about it you don't really i wouldn't say you don't care but to an extent you don't care and then after i do post you guys are like oh i missed some of the vlogs and i definitely appreciate that definitely excited that you guys still want to watch my videos this week i started off um, vlogging a little bit earlier in the week and i ended up getting some sad news that one of my family members passed away this week so I was not in the mood pretty much to vlog after that as you guys can imagine it's been a tough and a sad time for me for my family and I just feel like whenever death hits a family it's just one of those things that literally only time can heal I feel like when you grieve and when you lose someone that's literally all that you can do is just take time to heal take time to pray and keep your mind right and just you know keep yourself sane you know what i mean it definitely was a hard week definitely was a hard pill to swallow for us so i just was not up to vlogging but today um i finally feel like i was in some good spirits um i went horseback riding with my cousins earlier today we had already planned to do this like last weekend so um it was such a fun experience you guys i thought i was going to be like nervous and scared i'm going to insert a couple of clips probably after this but i actually wasn't i mean I, don't get me wrong i was a little nervous at first but i definitely did much better than i thought it was so much fun it was so peaceful it was so relaxing to just i don't know it just it was it was everything i feel like i kind of needed to just kind of get my brain back recharged because I just I don't know I don't know you guys but that's pretty much why this vlog is starting here but I still wanted you guys to see something so I figured I would get on here and talk to you guys update you guys on a couple different things because I do have some announcements coming for my channel um, and for my life and also I have some beauty subscriptions that I resubscribe to and also a new one that I subscribe to and I'm gonna unbox um, my box with you guys because I got them a couple weeks ago and I didn't film like a, a sit down video, but I figured I would still show you guys in case you guys are interested at all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. For my birthday month, which is next month, the month of August, my birthday is August the 28th. I mentioned it a while, a couple months ago that I was gonna be going to visit my best friend in California for my birthday. I'm still doing that. I'll be leaving on the 31st. Um, even though my birthday is on the 28th, I'm not leaving until the 21st. I have decided that for the month of August, I'm going to, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do, but it's kind of just like a personal challenge within myself where I'm going to really be using the month of August every single day to consciously and actively work towards every single thing that's important to me. I've created like a whole kind of list, different categories of different things that I'm going to do and the different things that I want to focus. So my weight loss, my fitness, I need to get back with that. You know, my spiritual journey, I want to, I have goals relating to that that I'm going to be focusing on. My mental health, um, you know, my mindset, my motivation, all that, being more positive, being more conscious of the different things that I'm feeling and saying, that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on. Um, and also, with YouTube I have challenged myself to post every single day for the month of August so I have been working on that I already kind of have a plan as far as how I'm doing everything and I've been creating video idea lists so I'm super excited about that I think it's gonna be super fun time I'm gonna say what's up to the vlog hey, y'all what's up <laughs> I know what I was saying before Bay walked out here but um, Oh yeah, with YouTube. I'll be posting every single day for the month of August um, to my YouTube channel. I really want to challenge myself with consistency, showing you guys that I can be consistent and showing myself that I can be consistent. Um, so I will be posting daily for the month of August. So I'm really excited about that. I've already started kind of working towards that. Those are pretty much um, the updates that I want to let you guys know that I'll be doing the August challenge and um, yeah, I'll be doing a couple different things throughout those challenges. But the thing that's most important is I definitely will be uploading every single day for the month of August. So be on the lookout for that. So anyways, let me start the unboxing portion of this video. I used to have like two beauty subscriptions back in the day. And I used to actually unbox them on my channel. They were Ipsy and Birchbox. 
and if you guys are really interested they're still on my channel back in the day um but i did decide i was gonna get back um into why i recently got back obsessed with the beauty subscriptions and i decided to give a couple a try did resubscribe to ipsy so i have ipsy here the month for the month of july and i also decided that i was going to try a new subscription which is boxycharm so the thing i like about boxycharm is that you get um full-size products it's a 21 dollars a month subscription you get four to five i believe full-size products um, beauty products and yeah, so I really think it's kind of worth it You know for $20 a month to get four to five full-size products each month is an awesome deal as far especially with You know just trying out new makeup and stuff and then ipsy is a $10 a month subscription and you get four to, I think you get five to six um, Deluxe size beauty samples sometimes you get full-size products like this month a couple of people got like a full-size Smashbox primer and already that's 20 something dollars and the subscription is only ten dollars a month so it's already worth it so i'm just going to show you guys what i got because i got them a little bit late so yeah this is what the july bag looks like just like this holographic pretty color and two of the things that i got inside my bag couldn't fit in it they're just these um coffee sheet mask and i'm actually really excited about this because i am obsessed with sheet masks and i got rid of so much stuff that my makeup collection my beauty collection all that stuff is so like sad right now it's really ridiculous but um yeah so then inside of the bag i also got um the first thing i have here is this seba med liquid face and body wash for sensitive skin next thing i have here is this sugar um stroke of genius heavy doodle heavy doodle heavy duty cold pencil and purple rain so it's just this pretty purple color next thing i have here is by the brand half caked i've never actually used this before and i think it's called a lip fondue or find yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it is and it's a really pretty like true red color this is how it looks and it's like a liquid lipstick and i actually don't have this true of a red in a liquid lipstick form so i'm super excited to actually try this out um so yeah we got a full-size lipstick in here so sometimes you get full-size products with ipsy and sometimes um you don't it just kind of depends but i definitely think ipsy is worth the value and then the last thing i have here is this laura mercier loose set loose setting powder um in the shade translucent and it's just this super cute little sample look how small this is I know that they do have a travel size i don't think it's this quite this small but i actually got the full size of the translucent and medium deep but i haven't tried just the translucent shade so i'm really actually excited that they sent me this and yeah i was really really happy for ten dollars i was really happy with everything that i got for the most part um just with the laura mercier and the lipstick alone i feel like that kind of paid for the box and this is just the card that they included in it that's everything that i got in my ipsy you guys i'll have a link to both of these subscriptions down below if you guys are interested in signing up i definitely think it's worth it um it's fun it's a fun little surprise to do each month and it helps you to try out new makeup especially if you're like a beauty lover it helps you try out new makeup try out different products you probably would not normally try and yeah it helps you just kind of get more comfortable with makeup so next is boxycharm and of course all the products are full size here um so the first thing that i got here is this needles no more no more baggage dr brandt eye depuffing gel and the full size this is the full size of the product it retails for 42 dollars at sephora so already off the bat just this product alone is double the price of the box so that was really impressive i love trying dr brandt um, products and to have a full size product i'm actually really excited about that so i'm excited to try that that was probably my most uh favorite thing from this month's box the next thing I have here is from Wander Beauty, and this is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Super cute. I think the packaging is adorable. It looks like it's a, like a lipstick, but it's not. So I thought that was really, really cute. The next thing I have here is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And on this, it's one side, it's a brush, and on the other side there is a pomade so i'm excited to give that a try i've never seen a product like this is something very unique um so yeah 
The next thing I have here is this Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher, and I have mine in the shade Desert Rose. Um, I'm probably going to put this in a giveaway pile. I'm not really a blush fan, um, but I'll show you guys the shade just in case you guys are interested. Yeah, so this is how the shade looks. And last but not least, the last thing that I actually got in this palette was a crown palette. And I actually was, did I say the last thing I got in this palette? The last thing I got in this box is this palette. And um, I wasn't, I'm not even going to lie, I wasn't even excited to get this palette at first because I really wanted the Tarte Spray. Um, but I didn't get that in my box. I ended up getting the Crown Pro palette. This is how the inside of the palette looks. But once I opened it and realized that these shades are actually going to be like really wearable for me, this is like right up my alley as far as this palette is concerned. I was actually pretty excited about that. And this palette itself retails for $29.99. So this, as well as the Dr. Brandt gel alone, um, I would say are my favorite products in the box. And they definitely made the box worth the buy. So for $21, this is already a $70 value. That is everything that I got in my July uh, boxy charm as well as my July Ipsy. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I get next month, definitely be on the lookout. There will be separate videos um, and unboxings for you guys. But I just decided since I was so late with showing you guys, I would just do it this way. If you guys enjoyed this little chit chat update unboxing with me. And right now I'm about to order us some pizza. And we're going to watch Power and get ready for the week. So that's pretty much it.